Form Next 2024, and I'm at the Elegant Booth, and I'm with my friend Coco. Hi, Joe. How you doing? Fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for letting us come by. We get to take a look at the brand new Centauri, Centauri Carbon. Carbon. Yeah. And this isn't out yet, right? No one has this yet. No it's, one it's has still, it yet. It's still kind of waiting in the wings for, for people yeah, to get, right? a lot of people are in the waiting list right now. It's been popular. I've seen a lot of people post on social media saying they're very interested in it. Have you had a lot of interest at the show? Yeah, actually, we got like a great I mean, attention for this product because it's like our first coax Y structure product. And actually, we were also having some information releasing right now, I mean, on our, our social media. So that actually, there were a lot of people were coming for it. Yeah. It's a good design. Mm -hmm. It's a familiar design. What was Elegu's thoughts in coming out with something with a Core XY box machine? Because historically, like mm -hmm. the Neptune series, flings the bed back and forth. Back swing there. And, and historically, Elegu has been great at yeah. resin 3D printing. And so this is kind of a new direction. Yeah. How did Elegu come about the decision to do this? I maybe need to share a little bit of history I mean, about us for last year because yeah. we reached our one milestone of our sales revenue last year around like 200 million US dollar. Okay. Yeah, so actually this year we also expect like a 30 to 50% increase. So actually we were under this planning for a long time. So to reach a wider or a, you know, bigger user group. So actually we want to make it a product which is more user friendly to the beginner users. So we need, we, we want to get up with a enclosed product, which is like a more uh, friendly for, no matter it's like you are just getting into the 3D printing and maybe easy for you to get a hands on. So that's why we get the CoXY structure product coming up. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, so you're thinking a new user, someone new to 3D printing, yeah. they can get the Centauri Carbon, they can take it out of a box, put it yes. on the shelf for the table, and just get started right away. Yeah, so this one is like uh, quite easy for you to take out of front box and actually plug in this one, and then also the, uh, you know, the plugger for, mm -hmm. for the power, and then actually you can start working. Yeah, just so. like that, good to go. Yes. You don't have to attach the gantry screws for the i3 design. And, yes, yeah. exactly. I've done plenty yeah. of that. With this Centauri Carbon, can yeah. you tell me a little bit about the machine? Like, uh, what temperature does the hot end in the bed get to? Mm -hmm. And what's the build volume inside? Currently, we were offering like uh, 256 okay. plus, I mean, cubic. Oh, yeah. 256 cubed, right? Yeah, cubic. Okay. And the nozzle, is it a 300 degree nozzle? Uh, it's actually more. Because we actually, actually oh. used the, like a hardened, yeah, a hardened nozzle tips for this. So actually, the temperature of the uh, nozzle can reach up to 310 CD. And actually, there's a print on the bed yes. right here, right? Yes. Can I open With, the door? And yeah, can we take please. it out? Yeah. Okay, the door is open. Elegu textured PEI. Yeah, this is also something also with the plate because it's like a dual plate. You can actually put on different, we have like two sides. And you said double sided. So, yes. okay, Flexi Rex is on the other side. What side is this? Uh, this size, is, as actually you can tell from the thick print, is like uh, the, uh, you know, we get like the strength uh, adhesion for this. So actually it can go like optimized for the PLA. Okay. Yeah. And the other side we got like uh, also, uh, yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. And there's uh -huh. Flexi Rexy, yeah. Yes. So this one we also get, uh, you know, this is, the, TPU. this is the yeah, most standard one. So you can see oh, the I see. Star. Yeah. So uh, it's easier for users to actually tell like which side is like for which kind of materials as well as like the uh, adhesion, like uh, they want to put uh, like, I mean, print for different materials. Yeah, well, I, I do like the, having the information on the plate. Yes. But this says heat bed temp 30C. So this is a, a cold plate, right? Yes. So actually this one, like you don't, you don't need to actually heat it up. So it will also save a lot of like energy for you to yeah. start print. Yeah. Well, when we when we talk about people who do print farming, yeah. if someone were to have 10, 20, or 50 of these, uh -huh. there's a there's a significant savings in power if you don't yeah. have to heat the bed to 60C for PLA every time. You can choose, I mean, a model. Yeah, okay, so yeah, here's the UI. So I'm gonna go yeah. to the folder structure probably. Yeah. And uh, why don't we print a Benchy? Yeah, please. Okay, PLA, which we have yeah. loaded, good, yeah, loaded. okay. Uh, yeah, textured they, plate. Yeah, it was suggested to like this one is like. Oh, the, side A. Yeah, side look a. at that. Yeah, okay. We were conferring with the side A. Okay, and it's a 15 minute, 29 second benchy. Well, I'm just, can I just, uh? Yeah, please. Boom. <laughs> We also got like uh, internal storage for uh, for the device, so actually you can also store some like of the 
uh, like uh, the 3D printing, printing models inside of it in case you want. You, so you don't want to need to get the uh, USB drive right now because you can actually save it. Inside. Oh, but you can attach a USB drive, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can attach the USB drive or you can send a, send a file via Wi-Fi, yeah. I like the little prompt that comes up when the print was done. You got cancel or yeah. you got print again. And, yes. you know, I, I talk about farm printing. Yeah. And so in that example, it's great that you can just pull the model and hit print again yes. and start the same print again if you yeah. need to print thousands of something, right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Cool. Yeah. Is this a fast 3D printer? Yes. Actually, the maximum speed of the prints can go like uh, 500. 500 yes. millimeters per second? Yes. 500? Yeah, 500. Really? Yeah, because, so actually <laughs> it will, I mean, it actually was... In a straight uh, line, right? If it has to do a lot of complex things, it'll slow down a little yeah, bit. It's like the maximum one. So yeah. like, uh, for example, like you have uh, also like the recommended uh, printing space. Sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, we also like uh, reframe the pillar and also with the top and also bottom frame with okay. die casting. Yes, yeah, so actually make it very strong and solid. And also during the print, you can also see actually the sound of the print is quite smaller. It's super okay, quiet. It's super no, quiet. No, I'm, I'm, look at this. I'm standing right here and I didn't even know it was on and printing yes. until I felt the slight vibrations. Yes. Can I peek in and look at it? Yeah, please. Yeah. When look at it go. It. It's going quick. Yeah. Are there parts from the Giga in here, or is this a newly developed print head? Is we uh, actually we were optimized uh, the print nozzle head, no, nozzle tips. It's like the hardened nozzle tips, so it's like uh, some you know updates from our previous. Uh, okay. Yeah. I know this isn't out yet. Mm -hmm. When's it looking to come out? Uh, so actually, we will actually get it to the target. I mean, to the user's hand, maybe it's like around the first quarter of next year. Oh, oh, yeah. that's not bad. Yeah, because okay. currently it's already the Christmas season and also New Year's season, the promotion season. So actually, we will actually wait for a little bit. Do you know the price that this will be? Mm, I think this is something we cannot share right now. Does it yeah, end in a so nine? Say, mm, yeah, of okay. course. It, it ends in a nine. Maybe double nine. <laughs> <laughs> I mm -hmm. think you put together a really good package. I think mm -hmm. you've got a winner on your hands. And if this can print as well as what I'm seeing here when it comes to my studio, uh -huh. I can see a lot of things being made on this machine. Well, a lot of people are going to want to know where they can go to find out more about this machine. Tons mm -hmm. of people who aren't here uh -huh. are going to want to find out more. Uh -huh. So look in that camera right there and let everybody know where they can go uh, to find out more. Yes. Actually, uh, more information right now you can check is on our official uh, social media, like our Facebook as, as well as like our Instagram. Yeah. And uh, very soon it will be officially launched on our website. All right, yeah. so social media first, yes. website coming later. We'll yeah. put all the links down below. I do like <laughs> to offer my audience a yeah. little high five because we had a good time, but will you offer it with me? Well, it's, yeah. Yeah, okay. Thanks everybody for making the sparks. If you did, you're yeah. awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for cause you believe in. Mm -hmm. Centauri print all the things. There we yes. go. All right, and as always, high five. High five. Rowan? <laughs> Chris. <Yes. laughs>